Okay, we're at it again. We're on our way down to Springwood, Sassafras Trail, and um, well, Sassafras Gully Trail, and we're going in via the Wiggins track. The last couple of times we've been going in by Batman and Sassafras Gully Trail. Now we're coming in by the Wiggins track, and we're going to see how easy or hard this is. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, anyway, there's only three of us. And uh, all the girls seem to be attracted, attracted to Roger today. I think she was half cut, wasn't she? She was half cut. She been smoking dope, mate. I'm saying there's no caves around here anyway all right let's see how hard this Wiggins trail is hopefully it's not that far what is it 8 30 yeah, 8 30 at night we're hiking in after the rain so it's cooled down all right we're probably a bit over halfway down on this track, it's still, even though storms come over, it's still pretty humid. And uh, we're hoping we uh, get near the campsite pretty soon. This is like one of the shortest trails to come in here, we found out. So, probably got another K to go, and we'll be down. Fingers crossed. First time we've been down here. There's my puck. It's got everything but a kitchen sink in it. So that's how much. 90 litre, 90 litre backpack. <sighs> there you go, this is a uh, campsite. Pretty big. And there's the boys. There'll so, be our fire for the night and tomorrow. And there's water just down here, which we'll show you later. Anyway. Got set up camp now. There's Roger trying to put up a uh, whatever he's trying to put up. And Roger spin around again for the camera. Look, like, like he's even got sweaty ass crack. Poor Rog. Look at him. It is. <laughs> he caught on the wire. <laughs> All right, we'll let him go now. Alright, we're keeping the fire going, even though it rained. The boys are doing a good job, especially Roger, getting a, a big turntable on the top. <laughs> it looks like a turntable, it's massive. Anyway, not too cold, it's actually pretty good after a warm day. And it's actually not too cold, eh? It's just what do you reckon he's about 10, 10, 30, 11, 12? Yeah, something like that. 11, 30, something like 12. What is it, Adam? You have to wind your clock up. 12.53. 12 12.53, it's only 1 o'clock. Jeez. Away. It's roaring away now. Anyway, it's only 1 o'clock. And uh, yeah, the fire's going good now. We're going to be here for two nights and heard a few noises, but we'll uh, probably do more tomorrow. Set up some trial cams. I've got two here, sound recorder, and I've got some casting material and see uh, what we find. We've had a few things to our left behind Adam and um, Roger's tents there's something been walking around there like same like when we come here last time it was like that 
so we're going to have a look up there tomorrow. Uh, it wasn't too bad to get down, what do you reckon, about 50 minutes maximum? Yeah, maybe. About 40, 40 to 50 minutes. It was about a 700 metre hike down from the car park to the bottom, and then it was probably about, what, about one, one and a half k's. Because it said 2.3 k's to perch pond, so it was about 1.5 maybe maximum, so, and it wasn't too bad, it was pretty good, so. Anyway, we're going to got the got the fire raging and keep us warm for a bit. We'll stay up and see what's going to make any noises. And if we do, we'll try and get some recordings. And um, but tomorrow night we'll we'll do more than t today because um, we all worked hard today and we didn't get here till about well, get in till about 9:30, was it? Something like that. Anyway. Fire's raging now, it's nice and warm. Uh, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and um, I'm the first one up. I think we fell asleep about 2, 2.30 in the morning. Um, heard a few things around here. We thought we'd seen some eye shine here, but it was actually in the end um, just like a firefly. There's a campsite. Tent here, Adam's up there, and Roger up there. Anyway, I'm just going to go down to the water here. Check it out. At night time there's some massive spiders down here so I've got to be careful that I don't get bitten. There's a massive spider that comes out of the rock over right over there. So we've been there for a while. Alright, so seeing it rained a bit last night, the water's running a bit. More than normal, it's usually not that loud. But, uh, nice big pond here to swim in if we want to. It's going to get warm today. There's a few frogs out last night, they were like a grey yellowy colour. Took a few photos. So today we're going to do a bit of venturing around, we're going to check out this area up here, see what's all up there, um, see what we can find, set up some trial cameras and stuff in spots, I'm probably going to keep them over this way, the other side of the, the camp site, got some trial cameras because that's where we're getting a lot of action every time we're here, so we'll set them up there. Um, and I've got one sound recorder, I'll probably set that out up there as well. And uh, see if I can get down and um, we'll get down here and we'll check out, <coughs> show you a bit more of the area. It's this from yesterday. We uh, hiked in, took about, I think about 50 minutes, which is really good for here. The other areas it does take a hour and a half to two hours to get in. So this is the pond. So I've swum in here before, I bought my swimmers again, so during the night time there's a few big eels that swim around, they're pretty big, so then in the daytime you don't see them. But we'll just stay around this area. We won't I want to go near the eels. Check out this area here. You can see where the birds have been digging. They get they're digging it out to get at the uh, worms or 
something to eat under the soil. Yeah, it's a bit going to be warm today, I think it's at 30 degrees, so we all brought our, gate, our gators. So, Ooh, I haven't been down this area. Let's uh, have a look. That was put a foot there. It's only small though. Put one foot there and one foot here. Probably a wallaby. Alright, it's a bit Look over this side. Just be careful. Sand in that here. I don't think anything's been walking through before me. We'll see it. Don't see anything here. Just keep going. Sand over that side. Can't see like anything's put its foot in the sand here walking around. Very slippery because it's been raining all this moss here. There you go. Very quiet here. You see the water. Is it coming from this way? Alright, the water's actually coming back this way, going there, and then getting to the creek and then going to the, I think it's called the Glenbrook Creek, goes all the way along the Sassabras Gully Trail. There's a massive rock here. I wouldn't mind getting around it just to see what's up there. I'll just go and have a look. We'll get through these little ferns here. Spiderweb there, just trying to get away from spider webs. And just knock that down. You can build it tonight. Hang in. More spider webs. Oh, there's a lot of rocks here. Here a bit more, I won't go back too much further. You can come back here during the day when Roger and Adam are awake. They're still enjoying a good sleep.
massive rock. Oh, there's more big open water area. Stuff has to be like that all the way along here. But we will search around. I'm going to go back now and uh, and not like uh, I'll make a coffee and something to eat. up in here first. Let's have a look. Let's it up here. This looks like the easiest way. Oh, I have another spider web. It's slippery. Ah, what's in here? Anything mean moving around in here? Doesn't look like it. I don't see anything on this rock. Or anything over there has been disturbed. And it's funny. Look at that wall there, how the rocks are all being put up. I've done that. They wouldn't be there, natural. No way. Let's have a look what's on the other side. It's weird, that. Oh, this rock is huge. Try and go around the other side. Weird. Alright. the other side of that massive rock. I'm on my hands and knees here and uh, hopefully you can see the rock wall inside here. I'll take a picture anyway. Uh, something put it there to shelter one side from the other so they don't get seen. It's really weird then rocks. Someone's put it there. Uh, I'll just take a photo so you guys can see it better. I'm going to look around for some hairs in case hairs have been, you know, come off on the rocks. Maybe I get a bag and I'll try and see if I can get some hair samples from around this area, eh? So it looks like something's been coming in here because everything's disturbed here. I've just put my one hand down so I haven't disturbed it that much. And I'm just on my knees, I just crouch right here. Alright, I'll take a photo so you guys can see this rock wall that's been made from this side. But it is a bit dark in, in under there. He's just come out of his shell, and you can see one of the wings hasn't dried and gone hard yet, so... We'll put him back on the tree and let him get back to it. He's in the sun over here, so I'll give it to him. Put him so he's in more. He's on this tree. Well, that's probably his shell right there. He's come out. He's drying out.
Now we're using the um, creek here to cool our drinks down and Rogers is uh, pulling 360s. And I've got five drinks just here. And a bit of food just to cool off. It's getting pretty warm. And we've just um, been filtering some water. So not that much. And I'll just show you what we've been using to filter the water to drink. And here's my mouth. Just give me that for a sec. We've just been uh, using Adam's mini well water filter. I'll have to get one myself. The purifier. Yeah, it purifies three the water. Three stage purifier. So hopefully. Well, I know for sure we won't get sick because we've used it before. Anyway, that's how, that's how clear the water comes out after it's been purified in the mini well. Alright, this is where we found this man-made or Yowie-made rock wall underneath this massive rock. It's got to be like 15 foot high. So what I'm going to do is get some leaves and material here, put it in a bag and search around for some hairs and I'll send it away to Rusty or, or Harry and um, they can, they've can got the year to uh, tell us what kind of animal that's from or something that is unknown. So, we will just get everything from here. Just make sure I fill the bag up. To get some from inside. Alright, that should be enough. Go through that when I get home. It might take me a while, but we'll go through it and uh, see if we get some ads. All right, I come to check out this rock wall again, and they're all different types of rocks, as you can see. There's one that's got a lot of pebbles in it. One is sandstone. Something's been moving around in there. What's that up there? Got our eastern water dragon here, look. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people come here and camp, he's used to it.
they're going to get fucked up. And the little ones, they don't control the venom, so if it's venomous and it bites you, you'll can get really fucked up. Oh, uh, maybe cameras all. Anyone got a snake bite? You have to run after the astronomy to get protection. I mean, cameras got all. Here's the cast of this print. I've been using the camera underwater, so hopefully it's not too clouded inside the lens. But I don't know if you can see the three kind of fingers here. There's one along here, There's one in the middle, and one here. So if I put it down here, there's one here, one here. And one there, so it's like three fingers, and they're as long as my fingers, they're like that. Um, we did the casting material as quick as we could because it got really humid, and then you can see how it started going off as we we're pouring it in. So we did get all we could see really was the fingers, we couldn't see a palm print or anything, but um. It. It's very similar to um, the other one I got, and this was in that little cave area. Um, there was only that one print there. It's too small for a, like a like a kangaroo or a wallaby to get into, and if it would be two here, two prints there, if if it was a um, something like a wallaby, but I don't know what's going to make three fingers like that. You can see how they're just as long as my fingers. Go in, down. Unfortunately, we haven't had much luck tonight. Me and Roger are just waiting around to see if um, anything happens. It's what, 11.30? Yep. And um, we're just going to keep the fire going, see what happens. Um, we did have something unusual happen. Um, we're sitting there just talking about things, and next minute Roger's looking up in the sky, and we see, he says he's uh, like... Yeah, well, it could be a satellite, but there was like one right behind the other. And it looked like the one behind was catching up to the one in front, and then kind of went back and then went forward and caught, caught up to it. And we watched it go from west towards the easterly, easterly direction and then kind of curved to the south. And that was really weird. And then straight after that, it got cloudy. And then it's clear again, then cloudy. So. We're keeping our eyes out in the sky to see if we can see something weird again while we're waiting for any activity to happen down here. Um, yeah, so we're virtually, virtually just looking up in the air and see if we can see something weird. Um, I've got my night vision camera here and um, I'm going to power it up with the screen. If anything else happens, the night vision camera here 
with this little screen there, LCD screen will record what this sees and it can pick up the stars. So um, pretty quiet here tonight. We had a few noises yesterday but nothing happening at the moment. Sometimes they do start late but we've got the trail cameras out and um, just hoping for something to happen. If it gets a bit later, a couple of hours and nothing's happening we'll go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and go home. Hopefully something else happens. And, um, we've had a good time out here. It's been really good weather. Like It's not even cold. But I've just got a singlet top on and a pair of shorts. Even if we're not standing near the fire, it's not cold. And there's no breeze. There's a bit of a cool breeze earlier when it was actually warm. So it was pretty comfortable when we did jump in the um, in the creek here and had a bit of a splash around to keep cool during the day. Seen a lot of creatures from lizards to snake and a couple of different bugs and fish. But anyway, we'll just keep awake for a while and uh, hopefully something happens and we can uh, record it and show everyone. Until then, we'll just wait around and see what happens. Unfortunately for us, uh, it's very quiet tonight, unless something happens. A lot of noise happens while we're laying down in our tents. Um, we're going to go to sleep now. And uh, we'll wake up tomorrow morning and, uh, and um, head off home. Uh, we've, got that, we've got the cast that's over here. So I'll make sure and um, take a few photos in it and uh, show you guys. We are, uh, as we were making the mixture, it was that warm, it was setting. The mixture set really quick, so um, it wasn't as good as I liked. I liked it a bit more runnier, but it was very hard to mix in the heat. So we actually come out pretty good in the end. We actually got the three imprints that we uh, saw under that, that little rock or the big rock anyway we're going to about to go to sleep me and Roger are just getting stuff ready getting changed in our sleeping gears and sleeping clothes and then we'll we're going to go to sleep for a while the fire's just about putting itself out so it's pretty good weather it's not cold there's no wind we just listen to the frogs make noise all night and go to sleep and wake up with all the birds at about 5.30 in the morning and they start doing their calls when the sun rises. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully we get something next time.